Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whatever time you're watching this. My name is Dominic Elliott, and since this is Mental Health Awareness Week, I wanted to talk to you today about the Bridge to Wellness program. As you know, your physical health shows with your outward appearance. If you're not feeling well, it would most likely be obvious to other people. If you have a cold, you would probably have a cough, look tired, and sound congested. Most people could see that you were feeling ill, and you yourself would be able to tell that something is wrong. If you were feeling this way, you would take medicine and get lots of rest until you felt better. While there are telltale signs of feeling ill physically, this is not always the case when it comes to mental health. Some may be feeling depressed or anxious internally, but may not reflect that on the outside. It is not always easy to tell how someone is feeling by their appearance alone. Many people will smile and pretend that everything is okay when internally they know they are hurting. We have plenty of doctors, nurses, hospitals, and healthcare centers to treat people when they feel physically ill. But what about your emotions? How do they play a role in your overall health? And what can you do when you are not feeling well emotionally? Due to a multitude of factors, such as the COVID-19 pandemic, stress, and social media influence, we are currently experiencing a rise in cases of depression and anxiety among adolescents. According to the World Health Organization, globally, one in seven 10 to 19 year olds experiences a mental illness, accounting for 13% of the global burden of disease in this age group. The leading cause of illness and disability are depression and anxiety. Suicide among teens has increased drastically within the past few years and is now the second leading cause of death among teens and young people. Mental health disorders, if not treated properly in a person's youth, can extend into adulthood and can negatively impact both their physical and mental health, leading to a less fulfilling life. So what can we do to prevent these issues and help get youths to a better state of mental health? The Department of Health and Human Services has worked with Montgomery County Public Schools to bring Bridge to Wellness to 19 high schools. Bridge to Wellness is designed to help students work through these mental health challenges and lead them to having better mental health and an improved quality of life. Bridge to Wellness focuses on three types of support, youth development, care management, and mental health therapy. And each school has a team of three staff members who offer these services. The first team member of Bridge to Wellness is the Youth Development Specialist. They focus on mentoring, running activities and groups, and helping students build life skills, social skills, and achieve their personal goals. Group activities are great ways for students to connect with each other and to work on building social skills. The Youth Development Specialist acts as a liaison between the students and the Bridge to Wellness program. The YDS provides fun and engaging activities in a safe, comfortable space that students can utilize during and after the school day. These images come from my school, Winston Churchill High School, where I work as a youth development specialist. I host a weekly open mic where students can perform or listen to others perform. I have designed the room to be comfortable and inviting with couches, beanbag chairs, and string lights for soft lighting. Since many students participate in group activities or come to the room, I can find out more about their needs and connect them to the care manager and mental health therapist. The second team member of Bridge to Wellness is the care manager. The role of the care manager is to help students and their families find outside resources to meet their individual and or family needs. This may involve finding resources that meet their daily needs, such as food, clothing, housing, employment, but this may involve finding resources that meet their psychological needs, such as therapists and counselors. Finally, the third team member of Bridge to Wellness is the mental health therapist. The mental health therapist offers both individual and group counseling sessions with students, depending on what they are most comfortable with, to help them with their day-to-day -day lives. Therapy may involve skill building, learning self-care strategies, or helping to resolve issues current or issues from the past. While each role is specific, the three members of the Bridge to Wellness team work together to help support students with their individual needs. The overall goal of the program is to support the well-being and mental health of students so that they can thrive and do their best in their schools, homes, and communities. Now that you have more information about the program, you may be wondering how to access the Bridge to Wellness Services. Some students are referred by their counselor or a teacher because they have asked for help. 
Some students are referred by student well-being teams, which are counselors and administration working together to get students and families the support that they need. Other students may self-refer by walking in and speaking with a member of the Bridge to Wellness team. Bridge to Wellness is open to students who are interested and would benefit from the services. It is a good idea to check out some of the activities and to speak to Bridge to Wellness staff to see what services they offer and what might be the most helpful for you. After a student meets with Bridge to Wellness team, they are given a consent form to be signed by a parent or guardian. The consent form simply lets their parent or guardian know of their participation in Bridge to Wellness services and that they give them permission for their participation. Bridge to Wellness team members are comfortable speaking to parents and guardians about the program to give them more information or answer any questions that they might have. Students who are 18 years old and older can self-refer and do not need a parent or guardian to sign a consent form for them. For mental health services only, under special circumstances, students may be able to self-refer and receive services without having to notify their parent or guardian. You can ask your school's mental health therapist for details. Hi, my name is Elise Resnick. I'm a mental health therapist with Bridge to Wellness. What can mental health therapists do to help you? We can provide a wide variety of services for students. Are you having a hard time sitting through class because your mind is racing with worries? Are you feeling desperately sad and have no interest in things that you used to enjoy? Have you or your family gone through traumatic or scary events? Mental health therapists are trained to help you with these and a wide variety of other mental health challenges. If you're struggling, mental health therapists are here to help. Sometimes you just need to sharpen your skills. Do you feel like you aren't any good at talking with other people? Have no idea how to stay on top of your classwork or study effectively? Do you feel like you don't have many friends at school and don't know how to change that? Again, mental health therapists can help you build skills that will help you make changes in your life. They can teach you how to start newer, healthier habits. Mental health therapists can help you practice your social skills, and they can even help you work towards envisioning your future and building the skills you need to achieve your goals. High school students have so many responsibilities. School, extracurriculars, friends, family obligations, often even a job outside of school. It can be hard to remember to take care of yourself and not just focus on responsibilities. Your mental health needs to be prioritized too. Mental health therapists can teach you ways to take care of yourself. Whether you need to learn relaxation breathing techniques, need space to flex your artistic side, or even just need a good old fashioned game of UNO to lift up your spirits, mental health therapists can use sessions to help you focus on the pieces of you that may go unfulfilled when you're overwhelmed with the rest of life. Sometimes you're struggling with issues from the past that continue to come up. Maybe you and your parents or guardians just can't get along. Maybe you've grown and changed over time, but can't forgive yourself for past mistakes. Maybe you struggle to see all the wonderful things about yourself. Can mental health therapists help? Yes, they can, but how? There are many ways to do therapy. Sometimes you just need to breathe and sit down with a coloring book to clear your mind. Sometimes you need to talk about really hard things. Maybe you'd feel better knowing that others share your struggles and learning from them. Bridge to, Wellness Bridge to Wellness therapists can even include your family in sessions if you'd like. One benefit of Bridge to Wellness therapy is that it's in person. Exceptions can be made for online sessions when needed. You can meet with your therapist once a week during the school day. You find a time that works with your schedule and you'll be excused from class to come to your session. If you feel that you'd wanna meet more than once a week, if there's time and space, that can sometimes happen as well. If you need a space to talk, and be heard, then that's what Bridge to Wellness therapists can offer. Therapists also offer other therapeutic options though. Maybe talking doesn't sound helpful. Maybe it's more helpful for you to take a walk outside in nature, to read information about your mental health challenges that's written by experts or others who share your struggles. Sometimes journaling really helps or creating art. You and your therapist work together to figure out how to best help you achieve your goals of improved mental well-being. Each therapy session can look different. Please keep in mind also that there are bilingual therapists at many Bridge to Wellness sites. If you don't speak English as your first language, your mental health therapist may be able to work with you in your primary language. Also, if you want to include family and they're not primarily English speaking, translation services are available as well. For some students, receiving therapy outside of school is the best fit and is accessible to them through their health insurance or private pay. 
Therapy can be expensive, however, and Bridge Wellness is here to help those who aren't able to access it otherwise. Perhaps you don't have health insurance, or you have care for kids and are not able to use insurance for mental health care. In some cases, your family does have health insurance that covers mental health services, but they can't get you to the appointments. Or the copays might be really expensive, or you've searched for a therapist for weeks and you're on a really long waiting list. Encountering barriers to therapy outside of school can make you eligible for Bridge to Wellness Services. There are families who are also sometimes just not supportive of you receiving mental health services. Maybe there's stigma surrounding mental health or your family can't understand your needs. Sometimes you need to talk to a therapist because you're struggling with challenges that you're not ready to share with your family. In these cases, you can self-refer for Bridge to Wellness Mental Health Services, and it'll be determined if your needs are best met with school-based care. There's no fee for Bridge to Wellness Mental Health Therapy, so there's no need to worry about who will pay for your mental health care. Also, if you see a group therapy option that appeals to you, let your Bridge to Wellness Mental Health Therapist know. Groups are open to anyone, even if you're able to access therapy services outside of school. We all need a little help with our mental health at times. Anxiety hits us all, and learning to manage it is a skill we can all use. I'm going to teach you a simple way to regulate your breathing at times when you're feeling anxious or just need a little relaxation. It's called cookie breathing. Here's how it works. Imagine the fresh baked cookies or your favorite baked treat just came out of the oven. Cookies. You can smell the lovely fresh baked scent. Breathe in deeply through your nose and capture that fabulous cookie smell. Nice. Of course, the one thing better than smelling fresh cookies is eating them. However, they're just out of the oven and too hot to eat. So you have to blow on them to cool them off. Breathe out through your mouth to cool off the fresh baked cookies. Now slowly breathe in the scent again and slowly blow on them again. So it feels something like this. A few rounds of this and you'll feel yourself being far more relaxed and hungry than you were before your imaginary cookies were baked. Is mindfulness anyway? Mindfulness brings your brain into the concrete, the here and now. When we're depressed or anxious, our brains are pulling us into the past, thinking about things that were scary, traumatic, cringy, or into the future, thinking about things that we fear will happen or won't turn out well. When we're present in the moment, our minds are more calm. Mindfulness helps you be present. Here's a simple mindfulness exercise to use when you feel your brain pulling you to an uncomfortable place. Take some time, look around you. Name, out loud if you can, but in your head if necessary, five things that you can see. Any things. Look around, find five. Now, focus on your hearing. What are four things you can hear? Name them again. You may have to work to find four, and that's okay. This is keeping your brain in the present. What are three things you can touch right now? Find them and name them. Two things you can smell. Imaginary cookies don't count. And lastly, what is one thing that you can taste right now? You just pulled your mind into the present. Your body will relax as well. Anxiety comes in waves and you rode that one out. You can use this technique anytime you're feeling overwhelmed with uncomfortable thoughts.